Hey, I'm Adrian Smith, Retail Manager for Pioneer and Phytogen, and we're here today in a field of 47A64X soybeans, an indeterminate variety. The grower asked for an opinion on when to desiccate, so these were recently desiccated soybeans, and we just wanted to go through some tactics today on when to determine soybean desiccation. And I've got with us field agronomist Kevin Phillips. He's going to give us a brief moment on how to determine the best time to desiccate your indeterminate soybeans. All right, we're looking at these uh, soybeans uh, for desiccation and I usually like to look at the top four nodes uh, and check the maturity. I have some pods uh, off of our top four nodes here, these plants we have. And um, I have them kind of arranged from uh, most mature to least mature. And um, definitely these pods that are mature pod color are mature, but as we start to shell back from uh, <clears throat> most mature to least mature, I look for a uh, shiny color where the membrane is turned loose within that uh, pod and, uh, and they shell out really easy. Uh, here, this one's definitely mature. You can see some of these right here uh, definitely have the membrane still attached uh, to the seed there. Uh, maybe one pod here that was not quite mature in this field, but uh, definitely starting to shrink back from that hole. Uh, another thing that I look at once I'm in the field is the amount of defoliation or, or senescence already. You want to be somewhere close to 50% senescence, but uh, you should still have a lot of green canopy in the field. Uh, you should be a little bit nervous uh, from the standpoint of how good the field looks when you're starting to spray. Um, you like to go a little earlier side to, to capture that yield. Uh, once you wait a little too late, we've really found that you start to lose yield and quality uh, in, in the heat and uh, humidity that we can have in the south. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.